Hi everyone, Stefano Walker here from WVM Marketing, and I'm back with Sasha Wyman from our technology experience and enablement team. Today we're talking about Power Automate. Power Automate is an application within the Microsoft O365 suite designed to help streamline and automate manual workflows by literally connecting our apps and common tasks together automatically. So, Sasha, please walk us through how to use this app and give us an example of how Power Automate can make us more efficient in the way we work. Perfect. So I'm on the office.com landing page and my organization has given me access to Power Automate so I can see the button here. Um, if you do not see the button, you can reach out to your IT admin um, and talk to them about you, what you would like to do. They have some security and licensing considerations that they have to think about in order to enable this for users. Um, but if you see this Power Automate button, what you can do is you can click on it and it's gonna take you to the Power Automate homepage. So, you know, I can see that I've got a few videos here where I can take some minimal training on it. It's recommending some templates for me here. Um, what I wanna walk you through is just the creation of a very simple Power Automation. So, I get a lot of email emails with attachments in them, and I want them to save automatically to my OneDrive folder for me. I don't want to have to click them and hit save to or um, drag and drop them onto my desktop in order to print them or anything like that. I want them just to, as soon as I get an email, I want it just to feed into my OneDrive for business folder. So. Along the side here, you see I've got my flows, create, there's some templates. I want to go into uh, templates. And you're going to see you get a, like this whole stack of things. So we've got all of the flows available to you that have been created by Microsoft and other users. You've got some featured ones that have been shared with me. You've got approval flows. You've got email flows. What I want to do is I want to look for a Office 365 email attachment to OneDrive for Business. So you can see this pops up for me right away. It is a very popular um, flow with individuals. So all I have to do is click into it and it gives you a brief overview of what it does. It wants to connect to your Outlook account. It wants to connect to your OneDrive for Business account. And if I see two check marks there, I know that's good. Um, if you saw no connection, you might have to hit a plus mark and just sign in again to your Office 365 account. So I want to just go ahead and create this flow. So what I get here is the home page of the flow I'm creating. So I can see who owns the flow. I can see the connections. I can see the details. Um, I see when it was created and modified by. Um, I see that it's automated, which just means that it runs automatically. I don't even have to think about it. So I want to do a couple of different things with it. I want to edit it. So here's the trigger action of the flow. So on a new email to my inbox, I want it to you know, do this with a specific person. So Steph, anything that I receive from you, I'm going to enter your email address in here. So this flow is going to um, look at anything you send me with an attachment in it. So it includes attachment yes and has an attachment yes. And it's going to apply a couple of different things um, in the flow. So what it's going to do first and foremost is it's going to create a OneDrive folder for you called email attachments from flow. And then it's going to create a copy of the file you sent in Outlook and it's going to save it into that folder for me. So if I hit save here, it's saving the flow and then I can test. So I'm going to hit test here and I'm just going to say I'll perform the trigger action, which would be you sending me an email with an attachment. So we're going to run a test and I'll wait for you to send the email to me. You can see that I received the email with an attachment. Now what I can do is I can navigate to my OneDrive and there is a automatic folder here called email attachments from flow. So if I go into that, you can now see that it's pulled the attachment. So it pulled his signature and it also pulled that invoice that I wanted from the email. 
so now I, I don't have to, I can just go, I can look at his email, I can reply, and then I can just move it and file it away. I don't need to think about it anymore. I don't need to click on the attachment, save it to my desktop or a specified place. And that's what's really great about um, Power Automate is you can create really simple flows like that. And as you're, you gain more skill, you can start to create your own automated flows. Maybe you want to save to a specific folder in your OneDrive. You could create a flow that does that. Maybe there are templates that you wanted to do where you know you wanted to automatically create a page in OneNote or have Outlook emails automatically create tasks. That's all possible with Power Automate. All right, thanks again, Sasha, for that quick tutorial. So now you know a little more about how to use some of the powerful apps within the Microsoft O365 suite to make you more efficient and productive. Contact us today and let's have a conversation and we'll align your business with experts like Sasha who can help bring the modern workplace to your office.